Okay. You have to take it all to bits, apparently. <laughs> so I'm just taking this pipe out of this push fit. So it's got a little collar on there. Can you see it? It goes around like that. And you have to push that up. Sometimes the hard. And then it should just pop out. And there you go. There you have it. I can actually take the whole thing out now and make life easier. Instead of working in a cupboard. <laughs> Instead of working in a cupboard even. Right, I'll move this over here so I can sit down. I'm trying not to break anything. So we can have a better look at it now. We can see these are the uh, old micro switches. There's one on the other side. I won't be throwing them away. I mean, the actual tap part of it isn't broken. Uh, it was only really the shower part. I hadn't realised that the wires had come off the micro switch. I thought it was just broken, so we did buy a new one when we probably didn't really need to. But we've done it now, so we might as well put the new one in. But definitely going to keep this one as a spare. All right, let's have a look, see what comes to bits. So I'm thinking that once I've took the micro switches off, that I think it'll all just pop out with a bit of a jiggle. So there we have it. Don't throw it away. Uh, definitely coming as a spur. So before I do anything, I want to make sure everything fits together right. Make sure you've got the little ring in. And there. There we go. Don't force it if it's going to run properly because it'll probably be cross threaded. Now the other end don't make the mistake of just putting it on like that. You need the little rubber ring to go on so that'll go in there. And that of course It's onto the bottom of there. And then that has to come up through there. So we'll take the o-ring out. Pop that through. You can see what works. And that screws onto there. Get the o-ring in. Fasten that under there. So remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Now it says hand tight. Uh, depends how strong you are, I guess. I might nip that just a little tiny bit. And the shower comes in and out, like such. When you're not using it. And that fits in there like a tap. Looks a bit tight here to me. But it's the only way it can go, it fits into there. When you want to shower, there we go, shower. So I didn't have to take it to bits at all, it just, just fit in. Now I'm moving it, screw it on this side with the screws there. Now it tells you to put some silicon around, around here. So I'm going to find some silicon. 
Right, I'm going to silicon this into position. Just put a little bit underneath. Uh, so just silicone round this bit. Pop it back in. Screw it into position. I'm sure you all know how to silicon, but I'll show the people who don't necessarily. So this is a, it's just a cheap one, but it's a sanitary silicon sealant. So that means it won't grow any mold on it. So it's good for bathrooms and such. I'm not sure why it isn't all that anyway. So you just pop the end off with a blade. And that always flies off somewhere. Like I said, we'll find that months later. Stick this in now. This bit always gets on my nerves, so I'm going to cut that off as well. Just be careful. There we go. Pop that on there. And we've got one of these guns. Pop that in there. Just push it up. And then once you start squeezing, and the silicone will come out the end as you will see. And then just press that bit at the end and that releases the pressure so it's not all squeezing out the end. Put it down somewhere that preferably isn't on cloth material. All right, let's get this into position. Now I've got my screwdriver and my screws ready. And as per usual, it goes all over the place. But we can wipe that off. So I can't see the screw holes. There we go, there's one that. And just basically give it a good screw in. They're not screwing in very tight, so hopefully the silicon will hold them in position. If not, I'll have to take them out. Put some bigger screws in. Yeah, that's tight. It's not really... So while I was in the bathroom, I uh, discovered this on the mirror and we thought, well, what's this all about? But then when we've looked, it's just from the back, the catch. So what can we do about that? I'll tell you what we can do about that. We have some penguins, sticky back penguins that we're going to stick on there. So you just peel the back off. Not amazingly sticky. And we will put it just about there. Looks about right. Covers everything. <laughs> Not the shiniest of things in the world. He's a little bit wonky, but I think he's alright. Do you? Yes. There we go. <laughs> Another little job done. We're going to be putting these tiny little micro switches in now and the covers. So they have to be in position before you fasten it all back in. So I'm going to need my speckies on for this. So get it nice and close so we can see. Right, don't put it in that way, pointing up because that would be silly. So can you see the two little lugs? correspond with the two little holes and there's the actual switch there so they just pop on like that and this is like a little cover to uh, keep it in position and there we have it that wasn't too bad was it and of course that's where them wires go on And hopefully all will be well. There we go. 
No. Oh, there we go. That looks about right. Well, one's on one way, one's on the other way. I don't think it makes any difference. Right, let's get into position and try the water. Oh, first of all, we better try and push the pipes under here. Mm, let's go. All right, we've got the, um, these are the connections what go on the micro switches. Now I know for the fact that this one wasn't working anyway, and you can see quite clearly that it's broken. But these two, which were connected to the hot tap, they're absolutely fine. And I can hear the um, the water pump go. I don't know whether you can hear a little click. But these two were knackered, so I'm going to change these. The connection's still working, but so I'm going to turn the power off first. And I've got this wonderful device to help me along the way, which uh, Steve from Hugo Van brought along for me because he's a nice guy like that. So we've got the wire cut apart, which is there. Well, look for my glasses; they're on the floor. So I'll just cut that off there. As close to the edge as I can get. Hmm. There we go. Alright, just need to do them off now. I'll go and get the wire trimmers. I'm sure you know how to use these. Let's pop it in. There you go, we have wire. Not sure how long we need. Maybe it's just a tad longer. It's one of my favourite tools, this. Everybody should have one. No, that way is a little bit mucky. So hopefully it will work. We will see, won't we? Give them a little bit of a twist. Pop on the spade connector. It's called a spade connector because it looks like a little spade. I only found that out this morning. So Let's pop that in that, like so. And we get the crimpers. And we line it up with the red part. Not the blue part. There we go, we're in. Give it a good squeeze. Squeeze it nice and tightly. That's nice and tight, just how we like it. That's better. So I think it's best to try it all in now. I'll turn the power on, I'll touch them together and see if I can hear a little click of the motor. Yep, it's working. I'm happy that that's going to work. So let's get it all together. I'll clean these pipes up, get them back on. We'll put the water outside and we'll give it a go. See what happens. Hopefully water comes out into the sink and out of the waste and not anywhere else. <laughs> Wish me luck. So apparently it just pushes in and then it grips it itself. Yeah, that went in. 
do we use the hot tap? And they are solid. So we'll get the waste connected. Use the waste. They could leave us with a bit more room, couldn't they? Is it going in? Right, let's get the water in. So we definitely have a water leak from somewhere, so if you turn that tap on, Bren, then that'll... Hmm. I can't see where it's dripping from. Looks like it's coming from the hot water. You can see the water is coming from the top of the pipe and not the bottom, so it's the screw-on part rather than the push-on part. So I'm guessing that if I tighten that up, I know it said hand tight, and I did give it a bit more than hand tight, but I'm guessing that might stop it. Fingers crossed. That's tight. I'm just going to do the cold one as well, just give it a little bit more of a nip. Even though that one wasn't leaking, but I'm not entirely sure where water was coming from there anyway. I'm not entirely sure where water was going to it. Right, we'll try again, eh? Uh, what can I dry it with? This is better. Keep a smile. There you go, pushed in. Right. You'll have noticed that I haven't fastened the uh, micro switches on yet. That's because I don't want to get them wet. So I know that when I turn the kitchen tap on, that turns the water pump on which sends water to all the pipes so I will know there'll be pressure there so I'll know that if it's gonna leak as well so yeah the, they're not plugged in yet so let's have another go right Brenda would you like to turn that tap on let me see how it goes no we've still got a we've still got a leak Cold one's fine. This is this is hot one. I've uh, took the whole thing out again. I've taken this off and having a look inside. The washer had a little bit of a kink in it, so hopefully that's all it is. Let's flatten that washer out. Screw it back in carefully see how it goes again. I'm not going to go too tight again. Alright, let's get it back in. Right, I'm going to fasten these micro switches on now because uh, I'm feeling confident that it was just the washer. So they just clip on. Make sure that turned off, otherwise the water will come out. Hopefully. <laughs> and here's the other side. Well, it seems a bit mad to me having electricity and water together. This side. You got the wrong side. Back on. Now, technically, if I turn this, 
it should start not technically it just should but remember we haven't got the waist connected wish me luck and the hot water is working and it's still leaking water oh. we'll turn that off but we know the micro switches are working and cut so I've taken it out again uh, I've tightened it up a bit more it, like I keep saying it says hand tight but obviously it isn't hand tight I'm about sick of it now I want to put this one to bed so let's try again I do believe we have success so let's get this thing back in I'm not going to silicon it all up I'm just going to screw it back in and then if we notice there's water appearing in the drip tray in the shower tray we'll know where it is and I can soon take it back out again and uh, scream and shout so let's let this water out and we'll get it screwed back in if we can remember where the screws are there is it's been I don't know it's got to be about a month since we started this job all the other jobs that we've done the changing the wheels and doing the electrics on the front doing the back light doing the window things all in between is starting this it's driving me mad but I think I think that's it and I should be happy so hopefully here we have a fitted working bathroom not siliconed in but let's try yay we have water we even have cold water right I'm gonna leave it like that for now so thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you like it and go on subscribe for me as well cheers now catch you later